that's really fun. How fun is that? Yeah, that was How fun, fun is that? That was the, uh, that's the Groove Loop from Moore, which is an incredible little machine, which got built in uh, drum loops, and you can do the loops or the drums, uh, and you can loop on top of it. It's just, so it's just cool. a fabulous little gadget that works yeah. really well. Welcome, Sam. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I was distracted by this amazing guitar. Sorry. Uh, so welcome to 2019 here at um, at um, the uh, the best music shop in the world as voted by NAM 2018. Mm. So we got a few months to go, and then somebody else will take over that crown. And in the meantime, we are number one. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> welcome, Sam. Again, we are looking at new stuff from um, uh, 2019, and uh, uh, in this video, we're going to look at some great stuff. Yeah. All right. Um, again, every year, new stuff comes out, and mm. this is no exception. Um, Gretz have brought out some, uh, I would say, updates to the to the guitars that they had out uh, previously. Uh, so the Electromatic series and the Streamliner series. Uh, the Streamliner series, I'm explaining this to Sam as well because I'm, I'm not sure if you're aware of this. Mm -hmm. So you've got Streamliner and then you've got Electromatic and then you've got Gretsch, the, you know, the, the proper okay. Gretsch range. Yeah. Um, and the, the Streamliner series goes in and it's a very affordable range mm -hmm. of guitars, but they are amazing value for money. Um, mm -hmm. I know Rob, and I keep talking about Rob Chapman, but he's, he bought one of these, he played one in a video and he was like, he just bought one because yeah. he thought it was so cool and easy to play and it sounded great. Uh, which is a, a semi fully sort of hollow like yep. this, you know. Um, so updates uh, to these guitars this year is uh, new Broadtron pickups um, on the range on these two, uh, same one as that. So they've updated. It's the same pickups but a different cover. On right. That, okay. As far as, as far as I am uh, aware, so they've updated that. Okay. Um, the one I have here, the fifty two twenty. They've got all these catchy names, you know, 5220 and 2250 and, you know, all this sort of stuff. Yeah. G for Gretz. Uh, Jet, <laughs> it's got a chambered mahogany body. Oh, okay. As you can see here, it's got a uh, mahogany, uh, they call it a thin U-neck. Um, it's got a, um, a, a walnut board on it uh, and it's got a um, laminated arched maple top. So you can kind of see if I'm holding it like yeah. that, you get a... Um, sort of an arch in it. They've got, they've got some cool names. Check this out. So this is called a V stop tail. And how it's written is V dash stop tail. Right? This is called a, uh, it's called, G, sorry, these are called G arrow uh, knobs. Okay. G arrow. It's not just tuner knobs, it's G arrow because it's got a little arrow in there with a G in it. Right? Uh, this is the um, adjustomatic <laughs> bridge. And that's the that's the guitar basically, okay. and you have got two of them. So instead of instead of because um, these got the same specs, this has got the uh, G50 Bixby uh, on it there. But everything else about these are uh, the same. These are the only two colors at the moment. I know there is, um, and the guitars. Uh, this one will be uh, around 460 pounds, and this one will be around 520 pounds. So, um, but it's a gorgeous color. Yeah. What was this called again? Uh, some uh, Andalusian, Allusion, something like that. Blue. I, could, I don't know how exactly to. Um, and this is called. This is great as well. That one. That was called um, Jade Grey <laughs> Metallic. I've got a. I've got a guy over there that said they're so new. We literally got the guitars mm -hmm. yesterday and the spec sheet uh, yesterday as well. So I haven't had much time. Um, but. So you don't know, Sam has not really played many Gretz before. No. So. And we were just talking about the, um, the controls here. Okay. So how, how they work is that on, on all the Gretz guitars, you've got, a, you've got an overall volume. So for, for, the, for uh, you are here or there. Okay, so controls so both pickups. This up. is an yeah. overall volume for, all, yeah. for, all of the, for the whole yeah. system. Okay. Then you've got a, a, an overall tone control. That's a tone cool. control, or kind of a, it's like, yeah, it's a tone control. And then you've got a volume for each of these pickups here. So the, so what you can do, of course, is you can, you can blend. Oh, 
Oh, so it's on the middle position. Yes. Right. So the middle yeah. position, these two will still, you'll still have control over each volume of these pickups, which is really cool because you get loads of different yeah, yeah. options, you know, yeah, and you can cool. still use that as an overall volume. Um, nice. And these are newly voiced uh, Broadtron pickups. And this is what they sound like. I mean, uh, a Rift Amp uh, PR35, and this is a clean tone. There's the two pickups together. Bridge pickup. You get much more of that sort of twangy thing yeah, on here. Yeah. Let's just put a little bit of gain, uh, gain from the Dane on. <laughs> can hear it's it's chambered you can almost hear it's kind yeah, of yeah. semi semi hollow kind of thing you know what i mean yeah yeah it's got that sort of throatiness yeah I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> awesome. Hopefully not, because I can't <laughs> afford any more children. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's just it's just a wonderfully cool-looking, affordable guitar, 460 quid. I mean, yeah, you get a lot of guitar for the money, and it's just these old Gretsch kind of appointments, and it just looks cool with a headstock and. I, I really, really, truly like these guitars mm -hmm. a lot, and value for money-wise, they're just great. Um, I think I got all the specs set, otherwise they'll be in the description. What are you playing? Well, I'm playing <laughs> this G2420. <laughs> <laughs> that well known... Is it Stormliner? Or stream streamliner. Stream so that's and a Streamliner series. So it's hollow body. Yeah. Uh, is, I mean, I just put it this way to the camera, you can see how kind of it's kind of... Yeah, it's not kinda, too fat, but it's fat enough. Yeah, it's a, it's a, in the middle of a, like an ES one seven five, you know, or like the big, yeah, big yeah. wide uh, Gibsons or whatever, you know. Yes, it's comfy and um, yeah, you've got some your medium frets. You've got twenty two frets. It's a bit of a jazz machine, isn't it? Yeah, it's a jazz machine. Yeah. And again, it's got that laurel uh, fingerboard, which they've started to use, um, which is quite interesting. Laurel. Which, yeah. Um, we were trying to figure out what laurel actually was, but, um, but it looks, a laurel it looks, reef. Looks a lot like rosewood, doesn't it? Yeah, actually, and from here where I'm sitting, it looks a bit like it's almost shiny. It's yeah. almost like there's a lacquer on it, but I don't think there is. No. Um, but very cool. Let's uh, let's again with the broad ton pickups. Cool guitar. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, and um, 
Uh, it's got well, this is, well, there's three different finishes. Okay. And this is the Village Amber finish. Village Amber. We also get the Walnut Stain and the <laughs> Aged Brooklyn Burst. Aged, uh, so we'll put those uh, magically appear on the screen while we talk about these. I'd like to see what the Brooklyn Burst looks like. Sounds interesting as yeah, well. Yeah, it sounds it sounds interesting. There's the there was a picture of the Walnut one, but you know, watch the video afterwards and we'll find them and put them up there. Hopefully, because they're still <laughs> so new. We might not even have them yet. They might be completely different. They might not but, exist. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this might be watched in the future. It will be watched in the future. Maybe also in the past. Who knows? <laughs> it's getting really extended. It's getting really extended <laughs> into, into something that's completely... Uh, and uh, just do, take us to the, uh, the pickup selection there. Okay. And it's, a quite, it's quite a funny sort of floating uh, bridge there you got at the end. Yeah. Isn't it? It's kind of a... Um, they call, I think they call that the uh, adjustomatic secured bridge, something like that. And it's a funny scale length as well. Um, 24 and three quarters, isn't it? Yeah. Something like that. Where this one's is like 24 and 0.6. Wow. That's, is that because of the Bigsby maybe there's some extra... They're both, they're both like that. I'm not quite sure. Um, it doesn't feel much different. I mean, it's the whole, you know, people talking about uh, compound radius and 7.25 inch radius uh, fingerboard. And I can't play that. Or this is too flat and this too, this is too curvy and stuff. I think, yeah. I think personally, you just, for me, you just, I'll just pick something up and play it a little bit. And then you just get used to it, and then it's fine. You know what I mean? After yeah, a little yeah. while, um, so I think it might at first glance seem a little bit different to play. But these are 12 inch <coughs> uh, radios, and these necks they feel very comfortable. Yeah, it's sort of like a medium fret wire as well. So it's kind of you get a nice close feel. Yeah, which yeah. I really like. I like yeah. that sort of feel on, on yeah. guitar neck. It makes it. All nickel, response. yeah, and all nickel and nickel frets and all this different oh, stuff. Yeah. So, uh, but let's have a listen to. Just take us to the pickups. So the neck. While pick I pick this off here. That's of everything on yeah. the full, and then yeah. here's the two pickups together. Then at both full volume. That's Maybe. glorious. Yeah, cool. I like that tone. Gonna, yeah, <clears throat> if I turn down, so if I turn down that one, that's going to turn down the. Next it's correct. And then I'll get a blend. So I get the attack of the bridge. I've right been to. It's a nice little. I feel like George Benson, but obviously he's. In, he's you don't look like him. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a nice chord. Lovely. So you got a lot of. Oh, what does it do with gain? Let's have, a Let's have some gain. Put some uh, Dane in the gain. Put some gain on from the Dane. <laughs> it's always the Dane, but it has to be the Dane.
<laughs> I can't remember since we played a slow blues in here. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm all out of shape with, really the, fun. with the slow blues. I'm out of shape. Nice. I'm out of shape with it. I want to put some of the, you know, when you're playing like a, so you're going, you want to put some of the, you want oh, to put some of the diminished yeah. in between and stuff. And I just forget, I get, you know. Yeah. I forget all the, Anyway, it's sounding anyway, excellent. People. Anyway, oh, it's great, man. Sounds, sounds good. Sounds lovely, really good. lovely playing. Uh, okay, so that's great. Uh, how much is it? It's uh, four hundred and thirty-five pounds, apparently. Four hundred and thirty-five pounds. That is a lot of money. A uh, lot of guitar for the money. <laughs> it's a lot of money for the guitar. <laughs> well, it could be. It is a lot it's, of money, you know, depending on. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's but, a lot of money, um, but it's also not a very lot of money for that for a yeah, guitar like that. It's classy. It's nice. It feel, it sounds great, and it feels Looks, it feels great. It's not. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a, a guitar of that price range at all. I must admit, any every time I pick a, a Gretsch up uh, of these Electromagnetic series or the Streamliners, they always feel great to play. It's always there's never you know oh I wish they just set that up with this bit or it's always super consistent mm -hmm. play playability. Um, uh, you can get your fingernomics right. Ooh. That's a word I need to trademark. I've hereby trademarked the words fingernomics. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Fingernomics on the 17th like of January 2019. There you go. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. What about yeah. about 20 to 3 in the yeah. afternoon. Are you recording that? Yeah, yeah we are recording that. Fingernomics. It's a great word to <laughs> yeah. use if you are, you know, I was thinking that. Well, we, we did some, um, some teaching. We did, we? Yeah, we did like a masterclass sort of yeah. teaching thing. And I was, if you use that word, fingernomics, which yeah. is like the way you put your fingers, how much you, you know, how much you lift off and where can you do it and you need yeah. to make sure you get the, the right frets and all that different stuff and that's fingernomics. Fingernomics. You could, you could write a book or a DVD on it maybe. Would you like that? Or maybe it's been done already. Maybe it's just... Maybe I know, but it's your thing. Yeah, we copyright it here I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to <laughs> Google fingernomics though. <laughs> Never know what's going to pop up, but <laughs> let's see what we can do. Uh, so, <laughs> so let's quickly just talk about this. I mean, the only difference between this and and that is color and uh, the Bixby uh, B50 system on here. So it's another uh, it's another about sixty nine pounds for, for for to get the Bixby on there and the different color. Uh, as far as I am aware, yes, that is it. So twenty two jumbo frets on there, walnut fingerboard, uh, arched maple. Laminated maple top, chambered mahogany body, uh, mahogany neck, and um, made in China. Um, Broadtrons, the new Broadtron pickups, same system, and you just heard what it sounds like. It sounds glorious. It really also works really well for rocking out. I know you want to jam, but I think you should probably play the other guitar. You reckon? Okay. <laughs> it just responds like, you know, there's a feeling you get with more expensive guitars that have that response, but this is, yeah. it's kind of there. Yeah, it, exactly. It pops. I think that's yeah. the word I can think of. It pops. It pops. Oh, quickly. Another thing, I, another thing I noticed as well is that's got the big blocking lays, and this has got the little um, sort of little half moons or thumbnail yes, uh, yeah. inlays there. I don't know. That's whether you prefer. I like that one there. But let's just give it some game. Let's see what you can do. Can you shred on that guitar? Oh, 
almost. The right. answer is yes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and uh, you're plugged into the V40 Deluxe from uh, Victory, which is also great. It takes pedals really well, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, I guess that's it, unless I should play that. Yeah, I reckon you should. Should I should I play a little bit on that? Maybe on the, you know. Yes, let's let's swap yeah. over because I played that in the beginning. So I'll swap to the uh, to this, and then um, once I when I do that, I'll, we will jam out, okay. and we'll say thank you very much for watching. Yeah. Um, anything you would like to say to the people out in uh, YouTube land? Hi. <laughs> Hi, mum. Hi, mum. <laughs> hey, mum. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please like. Yeah. Or if a guy called Liam is watching this, he owes me a fiver. <laughs> so. Uh... <laughs> so Liam. Fiverr, uh, go check Sam out as well on his YouTube channel and his Instagram stuff. Uh, he Thank does you. loads of uh, uh, stuff, tu tu tutorial videos and all sorts of stuff. Check it out; it's really cool. Uh, links below for these guitars: Gretsch Electromatic Streamliner 2019. Peace out. Mm -hmm.